He's representing the Reds. It's John Joe Pillar, Miss He's 33. So back seven here tonight sees John Joe, Thriller, Miskella, a road worker, 29 years of age from Hallfield in the red corner. The slightly taller, I imagine, of the two fighters. Against. Against Dean Gasson, Matt Dino, knock him clean an electrician, 33 years of age from Lockleys. And as I imagined, a very slight height advantage for Miskella in the blue corner, in the red corner, the slightly younger man. So Miskella came straight out of the blocks there. Like Usain Bolt. And it was a good job that Gasson ducked the right hand that followed. And neither man quite in range at the moment. It's a frantic start, but just out of range for both men. And again, that right hand thrown from Miskella is just not finding the target at the moment. It's a swinging right. If it lands, there'll be all sorts of trouble, but you need to take one step in further to land it cleanly, and it's not quite happening at the moment. Tighter guard from Gasson waiting his time oh there's when it landed the first time for Miskella over the top and although he's not taking any real punishment Gasson will have to get in just that bit closer to land his own work because Miskella just beginning to get through now and again they're not landing cleanly, but they are landing from the red corner, and Gasson will have to get that tight card, step in quickly, and work that bit closer inside the long arms of his taller opponent. And again, that big right hand is not really landing cleanly, but he is scoring points, Miskella, in the red corner. And Gasson just slightly out of range of his taller opponent. And that right hand comes through once again, clips his man. Good shot to the body and then the right to follow up from Gasson. That's where he needs to be. If he's going to work effectively, it has to be just like that. Pick your time, get in, body and head, inside the taller man's arms where you can do your own work. He can't afford to stand where he is. He needs to close that gap quickly and get inside. As it is, he had a good end to the round, but you feel that overall the point scoring came from the man in the red corner. So round two or three.
the way they go once more so Muschella has got to keep him at range Gasson's got to get inside whoever does that the tactic that they're supposed to will win this fight it's as simple as that and at the moment Muschella keeping Gasson mesmerized at the end of his reach and the end of his jab Gasson needs to step in like he did at the end of round one where he gave a hint of what he's capable of otherwise It'll be a long night for him at the end of the long limbs of Miskella. Now Miskella keeping that left jab, pumping out, following occasionally with the right hand, which keeps the fight at his range. The left probing to the body this time doubles it up. There's the right hand as Gasson comes in. He needs more of it, though. To win this fight, he needs to come in more frequently, close the gap quickly, and then get his shots going. As it is, he's spending too much time on the end of those shots from Miskella. That right hand just skimmed the cheek again of Gasson. And Gasson needs to close the gap. Good right to the body, and he doubles it up again. This is where he needs to be frequently. But Muschella pushes back once more, getting his man at range again. And pushing and pushing with that jab. Gasson looking to faint and get inside. Do it quickly if you're going to go. And like the first round, Gasson is having his success, but not as frequently as he needs to, I feel, to actually take the round. I think that Muschella has done enough in each of these opening rounds to be in the lead here as we go into the third and final. So third and final round. It's an official scorecard, but I've got red and Muschella ahead at the moment going into this last round. And the red team does need this victory. They touch gloves. And away they go. Gasson looking to close the gap quickly at the beginning of this third. He's probably been told by his corner he needs a big round. And he's doing exactly the right thing, but Muschella responds and starts throwing leather himself. And lands cleanly as Gasson comes through. And again, Muschella using that long reach to good effect here to keep Gasson at his range so he can fight his fight. And as I said, it's a tactical fight and it's the red corners tactics that are winning this for me. And another jab goes through the channel there from Muschella. Pushing away again, this time. Gasson slips and throws the right to the body, but he gets caught trying to come in again. I didn't say it was easy. I know what he's got to do. Doing it is another thing when you're alone there in the ring with only your opponent who is throwing leather back at you. And again, this time it's the right hand of Miskella that lands as Gasson tries to come in. Gasson needs a stoppage, I'm sure, here. And Miskella turns him nicely once more. Gasson trying to close the gap, Muschella throwing the right hand on the end of that left jab that he often doubles up. Then the looping right, but it keeps Gasson where he wants him. And occasionally he does get through, as I said, with those good solid rights, but I just think there's not enough during the course of this fight. And unless Gasson steps, stops his man, I feel the red corner will pull another fight back here. Muschella's fought a clever fight here against what I think is a strong opponent. You get the feeling that if he lands cleanly, Gasson would have real power, but I don't think he has enough. And I've got a feeling Red have pulled them back here with a very, very measured and very clever performance.
Yes, good tactical fight by Muschella and the right result there, he wins. Gasson, a very dangerous opponent, but Muschella did enough across all three rounds.